Getting any kind of cancer diagnosis can be absolutely devastating. Now the doctors at Spectrum Health have a new tool to help deliver better, efficient, and less invasive treatments for lung cancer and other diseases in the chest. Dr. Glenn Van Otteren is a pulmonologist with the Spectrum Health Medical Group. Dr. Van Otteren, tell us about EBIS or endobronchial ultrasound. EBIS is much shorter. Yeah, exactly, and that's why we call it EBIS. But basically, it's a, a bronchoscope, mm -hmm. but it's different than other bron bronchoscopes in that it allows us to have two different images. Any endoscope or a bronchoscope is one that goes through the airway allows us to look with a camera what's inside the airway or when we go down the esophagus, in the esophagus, for example. But this EBUS scope has an ultrasound device equipped to it for the first time that allows us to, to do a second image, and that's look outside of the airway. So for the first time, we're able to look not only inside the airway, but outside the airway, and that's very important for staging and diagnosing lung cancer. Mm -hmm. wow. So less invasive usually means the patient gets out of the hospital quicker. Um, is that the experience so far? Yeah, absolutely. There are multiple advantages. Using the EBUS bronchoscope, we're able to do uh, exactly what uh, typically has been done by surgery before. So we're saving surgery, what's called a mediastinoscopy, may not be required any longer because we're able to use this EBUS bronchoscope and do exactly the same thing for less cost and far less uh, safety risks to the patient. Mm -hmm. So you can give us a little medical lesson here. When you use the scope, what exactly are you looking for? I know we have like a little diagram here Correct. that helps explain. Well, if things. I can just show you the scope here, mm -hmm. uh, basically it's a flexible scope that goes down the airway and it has two different uh, devices at the tip. Mm -hmm. One is a conventional camera that we can see. The mm -hmm. other is this ultrasound probe that allows us to look at lymph nodes that line the airways. Oh. So again, we're able to look in the airway, but then we can see these lymph nodes that typically we could never see before, able to slip a fancy little needle in there, aspirate cells, mm -hmm. and come up with a diagnosis very easily. Mm -hmm. So lung cancer, one of the deadliest cancers out there, um, it, this also, you're able to see different types of cancers or different types of, it, it involves all the Correct. chest. Correct. We can go places where we weren't able to go before within the chest. And again, lung cancer is the leading cause of cancer death in men and women. Amazing. So uh, although it doesn't get a lot of press and notoriety, it, it clearly is a major uh, health risk. Um, and we can diagnose not, pri not only primary lung cancer, but cancer that may have spread from another organ to the chest, which is fairly common. Wow, that's amazing. That is great technology you have. But that's just one of the many things that, that you have right. at your service. Right. Beyond the bricks and mortar, the fancy buildings on Michigan Street, beyond this fancy state-of-the-art technology, what we have at the Lemon Holton Cancer Clinic is a whole team of doctors that can provide comprehensive care. Basically, when a patient shows up to that lung cancer clinic, we see them as a group. So we have mm -hmm. medical oncologists, radiation oncologists, thoracic surgeons, myself, a pulmonologist, along with radiology and pathologists. We sit around a table and give individualized attention for each patient. So the patient doesn't have to go doctor to doctor, office to office, with many delays. We can get, get them taken care of all in one spot. Full team effort. Exactly. Yeah, that is a really beautiful building. And I know with that whole kind of treatment that you offer, that was really kind of you know, thought out in what's going to be best for the patient. Absolutely. I mean, because that's the end goal, really, here. Exactly. It's far more easy for the patient. They're not lost in the system. And again, the delays before we went to that uh, type of health care uh, were unacceptable. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I found this was kind of amazing. I was doing a little research on this. And lung cancer kills more people than breast, colon, prostate cancers combined. Combine. Now, with... I guess our knowledge of how bad smoking is, um, and you've seen you know, less people smoke. Have you started to see a decline in lung cancer by any chance? For the first time in many years, mm -hmm. uh, the rate of cancer diagnosis among m women has finally uh, leveled off. Before, it was always going upwards. Mm -hmm. For men, it just has started to come down. But again, the rate of smoking in the population hasn't declined that much. It's at about 20%, now 20 to 25%, depending where you live. But it is down from before. We're starting to see a, a slight decline, but still, lung cancer by far and away leads 
uh, cancer deaths mm -hmm. in, in the United States. We'll yeah. see just in Grand Rapids, probably 300 to 400 new cancer diagnosis, lung cancer diagnosis this year. Mm -hmm. And you're able to do those diagnoses better right. with equipment right. like the with EGIS. The, with a tool like this, we can diagnose this early, so it makes common sense. If we can diagnose it early, we have a better chance of providing cure mm -hmm. with treatment. So what is the best way for people who see this and, and they have concerns or they have a loved one that they're concerned about? to be able to talk to you and right. experience some of this. Basically, there's no good screening tool for lung cancer, so you, one has to listen to their body. If they have signs or symptoms that are suspicious, yeah. go to the primary care doctor, get an initial evaluation. If there are features that suggest that there may be a significant problem, we'd like to see them at the Spectrum Health Lemon Holton Lung Cancer mm -hmm. Clinic, where we can go through and, and uh, further evaluate those patients. Mm -hmm. That's wonderful. Okay, we've got the information there on the screen and something to talk to your doctor about if you have concerns. Thank you so much for Thank you. coming and talking about how this process is being made just a little bit easier for, for patients who might have to undergo some treatment. That's our goal. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Appreciate it. Thank you. We'll be right back.